earlier in the program we buried the New York Knicks, but there's been a resurgence here in Brooklyn with the Nets. They've been showing some promise as of late. At this point, after a very good march, what's going forward? What, what do you expect for the Nets as they move forward, Keisha? Well, they've built such a great camaraderie and chemistry amongst themselves, and I think that is a that's a really positive thing and something that may be overlooked because you don't see it in the stats and the box scores. But when you're a, a struggling team, there are two ways to go. You can either go for self, pad your own stats and, and hope that maybe another team will be, take interest in you or you point figures, fingers at each other and oh, this one's to blame and that one's to blame or you band together and you fight together. And I think that's what the Nets have done. You know, they have been overmatched in um, some contests, but the one thing about them is that they've always fought and they've always had this this idea, it's, it's us against everybody else. You know, if we're going to go down, we're going to go down together. And I think when you build that kind of chemistry, you get to know each other, you can know what how to motivate the other person, how to have an honest conversation and say, hey, saw this in the game, noticed this, do you want to practice this? And I think that it's, a testament to Kenny Atkinson to the culture that he's established and, and he's a first year coach head coach in in the league and he's acknowledged that he's got things to learn that he's learning on the job and when the season's over he's gonna sit back and reflect and talk to people who are established coaches and and pick their brains a little bit so I think that we'll see more of this chemistry and I think especially I think Brooke Lopez was really instrumental and in, and in, Maybe I'm playing a little bit of favorites because I just, just something about him I genuinely like. But I feel as though, you know, the best thing that the Nets did was to keep him because there were trade rumors surrounding Brooke Lopez. But I think one of the best things they did was to keep him not only because of his scoring production, but just being the anchor and, and that veteran and really seem, seeming to be the glue on the team. I think Brooke Lopez is one of the most underappreciated athletes in professional sports. And the reason why I say that is this guy has lost a lot of basketball games over the course of the last couple of years. And when you see him in the interviews, you see him on the court, he still has this upbeat personality about him. Not a lot of stars. And, I'll, and, I, and I'm going out on a limb calling him a star. I do consider him a star. I think he's the face of this franchise. He's done a terrific job. He's played a huge part of this transition of them coming from New Jersey to Barclays Center. And of course, moving to Industry City with their practice facilities. He is the face of this franchise. No question about it. And I think when you have a, a, a player like that who can stay upbeat, I'm sure he's been very vocal and helping out some of the younger talent that they have on that team. I'm I'm sure that he's been very helpful for Kenny Atkinson, who's done a very good job here in his first season as the head coach, as you just pointed out. I think that there's some good things on the horizon for the Nets. It's going to take some time. And I think that, you know, as we said earlier, uh, we were talking off air about how the Knicks, they show, their fans will show up and support their team even during the tough times. You go to Barclays Center. Now, it's not the Garden. I understand that. But there are still people showing up to these games, yeah. even though that the Nets are struggling. They're losing. And, of course, you know, you get Allie Love during the timeout. Yeah. She's able to get the fans riled up and everything. And the dancers. The dancers. And, right. So it's it's exciting. There's some down, excitement. I want to get down from my perch and be like, <laughs> Get it, get in on Absolutely. the action. It's an experience, but I don't even mean to interrupt you. No, not at all. <laughs> I was just going to finish by saying again, and, and, and what, what I was talking about is Brooke Lopez, I think you pointed out, thank God they didn't trade this guy because if they did, maybe they'd have five less wins than they have right now. And this was a good march for them. It really was. They went out, they competed, they beat some playoff teams who, of course, some of them might have been resting players, some of them might have been struggling, but they've had some good wins of late. Yeah, really good stuff to carry forward. So we're looking forward to the positive future that we see for our Brooklyn Nets.